bringing the tea from Trafford Golf Centre, Andrew Carter. Hi guys, so I'm just going to give you a slightly different spin on this vlog. I'm going to give you a bit of a director's cut. So obviously this is me now editing my round of golf. As I'm sure many of you are aware of how it went. So forgive me if I do sound a little bit down about some of these shots as I um, as I reflect. But at this point here, I'm obviously very extremely happy. No balls have been hit yet. It's always nice, a good buzz to kind of get your name called out on the on the first tee with a couple of the uh, the open signs behind very very averagely struck tee shot down the first tee. a little four iron aiming to try and get it around about 250 um, downwind but wasn't to be started with an iron off the tee some guys have been going with driver but they ended up just slotting it in them the trap there in the distance gonna, gonna be giving them a lot of space today guys you know big event don't want to get up in his as, as the gangsters would say don't want to get up in his grill driver was an option off the first tee i was contemplating i was hitting driver well on the range but it was almost kind of one of them you know what let's get down the first hole get it on the green chance of birdie but hindsight obviously i kind of wish i would have smashed the driver but this is a smooth smooth little 54 into the first downwind trying to control the spin just blocked it a tiny bit right as you can see from my reaction should be okay i think he's over the bunker Hopefully he's got a putt for birdie. That's the result of the shot. Just finished right over that bunker. Just right of the flag. Pretty much on the green really I suppose with how short these fringes are. Slightly misread but hopefully a nice little tap in for the par. But I'd say tap in is about three or four feet. Yes. Guys, it's not looking good. He's hit the tee shot. It's gone into the gauze on the right. Looks like he might have to take a drop here. This was a big mistake off the tee, really. It was downwind. I should have really just hit the little one iron, get down the fairway like the boys did that I was playing with. Instead, I actually just blocked a three wood, kick to the right hand side, and hit the gauze bush. So, yeah, I had to take a little bit of a drop. Drop positioning wasn't great either, still in the very thick gorse, so it was just a just a bad start really. Right guys, he's taking his penalty shot, so this is playing for three. Come on Carter, put this close if you can. Oh, the flex is optimism. Sorry bud. Oh, it's not been able to get it, it must have been really, really tough. It was. Uh, not the style he's wanted. Mm. Right, Carter, come on. Pull something magical out of the tank. This was a pretty treacherous live flex. It was about two foot, about a foot below my feet. 58 degree, decent lie though. Nearly went in actually. Hit the flag, hit the flag. Hit the flag. Oh! Ooh. That would have been a power and a half. <laughs> Power and a half. Roll that one in for bogey. Get on the next stall and feel. Thank yourself. Downhill, slippery left to right. Pull. Straight up. Stop. It's uh, there in the middle. So, standing on the third tee, two over, not in a good mood now. He needs to put that behind him. See if he can find the fairway, find the green. Good swing, Andy, come on, good swing. Anger off the first tee, sweeping left yeah. to right. Yeah, like that one. <laughs> left to right, wing, so nice. Ah, oh, yeah, good drive, right down the middle. Good lad. Three great drives down there from the lads, Carter's got it. 
under 150 in now. Been looking to get this one close. Come on, good swing. Build the confidence with a birdie if possible. The yard on this was about 174. I hit a 9 and it was downwind, so I could really kind of go pretty solid on a 9 iron. Got a decent strike on it, looked good in the air. Yeah, good distance, birdie chance. So this for birdie guys, come on Carter, shows your magic. side of the slope it was a really really horrible pin position. Yeah well done. Needed that. Settle the ship. The ship has not settled yet Fletch. Just to show you what he's up against. So they're down there. Fairway's just in front of us here. However if you're about 15-20 yards off guys look at what you go into. Do not want to be going into any of this. Otherwise, it's take three off the tee. About 200 in now, guys. 479 yard par four into the wind. Slightly poor tee shot, decent strike. But yeah, that's close to 190 yards into the wind. Massive. Just got a straight. Got a draw. He said he hit it pure, he hit it good, the wind just didn't catch it, club face square to path, he's just missed it right sadly. The lie is not too bad however it is thick, he's missed it on the correct side to miss it on. Hopefully, get this one close. It was lying okay to be fair, could open the club face ever so slightly on this shot so it was all about getting the landing area right and being aggressive because if you try and decelerate through these shots obviously there's so much so much grass around the ball it's very easy to get snagged up so just open the club face be a little bit more aggressive with the swing and just try and get the landing area correct sit down <laughs> Ten to twelve feet straight up the hill. This one practice this in the practice rounds. So I knew it was going. Oh, in. what was a confident. Pops. Tell you what, it's good. It good job at the back of it. Ah, confidence, Fletch. Not allowed to see the return one. <laughs> good lad, needed that. Come on, a great drive. Come on, two, two, five, stay to the green. Shocking swing. Looks like it was going into the gorse bushes, but I got some seriously good bounce. Ah, it's okay. It's okay. So we've caught up with the main man now. 
Not a clue what hole he's on. Not a clue what he's shot so far. He's missed two or three holes he's played. However, he's first on the tee, that's a good sign. Yeah, welcome back, Fletch. We're on the eighth, short par four. Got a, got a one iron in hand. Have I been playing well since you left? Nope. It's been a tough day. And there was a pretty bad strike as well off the first tee. A little bit thin off the heel. Um, got down there about 200 yards down the right side. So, yeah, it's all right. Just a bad strike. Skip ahead a few holes. You are now on the 10th hole. So a couple of pars through eight and nine. Nothing too birdieable holes that I kind of pinpointed at the start of the session, so start of the round. So probably disappointed to be here at this point. Bombed the driver down the left side. The bunker where Fletch is probably camera from now was 280 to off the tee. So I've carried that. I've hit it around about 310. So... Yeah, absolutely smashed it. Bad shot. Yeah. Front right, massive putt. Let's get the man upstairs for a bit of help. Being a little hard on himself, you know. It's just a pity he had that double bogey. It's just made him, you know, have to feel like he's got to play catch up. Fingers crossed he'll get one or two birdies. Get that in. Can't turn it up too bad, look at Palm, just look at that leaderboard. Three steps, three, three steps to play for. Momentarily bouncing the step. Back to one over par. Nice drive, nice second, easy birdie. More of the same. Right. Yeah, he just birded, yeah, yeah, he just birded the last. So, Carter on the tee now. Hopefully I'll get a good swing here, par three. 180. 20. Come on, pal. Good swing now. Get on the dance floor. Chance of a birdie. Kind of downwind off the right hand side. It was all everything of a five iron to get over the kind of false front, which was about 205 oh, carry. Left, Slight pull. There you go. In the fixed up. Yep. Problems. Problems. <laughs> just off camera, this lad walking in front has just chipped in for birdie. Carter's going to be trying to follow this in. Really, really tricky line. Very thick. No, nowhere to really hit the ball. It has to obviously land just onto the green, but trying to hit the ball so hard to get it through the grass so you also don't want it to go too far so we tried to play like a bunker shot get plenty of ground under the ball and not really make contact with it but this wasn't as much as much much kind of turf as i thought and it just carried too far mm, want an easy lie no. want an easy lie
shot now. Not quite flat. Into a slight breeze. Into quite a strong breeze, 144 yards, kind of into and off the right hand side. So we went up to around about an eight and went up to the middle of the stands. I also wanted to put a bit of shape on it as well. Flag is middle to left. So you're gonna you want to be placing this you do not want to miss a left of the flag. And be in middle green. Trying to get that bit of spin right to left on the whole lot landing, but see how the strike's absolutely perfect. Loved the strike. You see the flag there moving from right to left. Oh shit. This is not where I wanted to go. It was not where I wanted to go. Come on. Really high bunker shot, no green, all downhill to the flag. Really bad miss. So disappointed. I'm gonna switch the camera off and I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna run away far far away. Wow. 
So I had to ended up having to hack down there. You can just see me there walking back up the hill. It's about a, about a 50, 10, 15 foot drop down the side of that hill. Good chip up. Left myself around about a four foot put down the hill from right to left. This is for bogey. And it's just a bit of damage limitation at this point now because that was a, this is just a really bad hole. Thankfully it drops. Yeah, well done Carter. That's that first one that's it. So guys, Carter's it driver. Didn't catch a too well big hooky hooky and low, but then he's absolutely nailed a one iron. Hit the flag we Bounded on down, landed in the fairway, and now just run into the first cut. Again, poor strike, really. On our right hand side, just here. Probably about 20 yards further back than Left where it should have been. Left side of the fairway for Carter. A little bit too long into this green now, which wasn't ideal. Left side of the fairway, flag is tucked. It's an absolute suck up in Pat Flag. Probably one of the toughest of the days. Tight left behind a massive pot bunker you do not want to. Go for this flag, yeah, for sure. I mean, and be off the fairway. I think Andy will be playing just right over. You never know, they might get aggressive. Yeah, he's done the right thing. Behave yourself. See how his ball just run, run on there. If he was to have gone for that flag, he would have ended up bouncing through and into the thick stuff just before that leaderboard. Have a look at the names on there in a minute when we get up there. Oh, this is a tasty one. Down the hill, up the hill, left to right, right to left and back up the hill. To right to left. Tremendous. Down, left to right, right to left and up. Sure. Oh, he had the line, I think, as well. Just left himself a really, really hard. Six to eight foot of a par. Hmm. Had a lot of these already today. Probably don't deserve to keep holding them. Can we get this one in? you've seen in the distance you know, a few hundred picking up there now that will that is for the group with Colin Montgomery and Carter's on the tee nice little buzz around the tee having quite a lot of uh, yeah, spectators the there hopefully it's seeing well we'll have to see but yeah Colin Montgomery standing uh, presently on five under after 18 chance if you can keep it up in It's a strong, strong A time for well that one. Sounded so good, he's aiming up. 170 to the flag. Hope for a big kick, yeah. just checks and stops. Pretty much dead on it. Front of the green, dead sensible. 
think he's missing his books now today, some yard is just struggled with. I have to blame the caddy for that. Right, so that's the end of round one. Really difficult round to be honest. Didn't play well at Thanks, all. Really, really struggled. Really, really struggled with my really game from off. start to finish as you can see. I hope it wasn't yeah, as bad right. to watch as it was to play in and now and now edit. Oh, but you couldn't no. think of anything worse than having to edit that. Oh, okay. I hit some good shots, of course I did. I hit some really three, bad three shots. In this round today. I leave them in seven over. Learned a lot about my go. game, which I can obviously take <laughs> forwards, but I couldn't obviously do anything about it. Seven over first round, 14 behind the leader. The decision is now do we go back out and play? Because to be fair, a lot a third of the a third of the field will withdraw. There's really no point in being out there if you're not going to compete in the actual event. So we will decide. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. I hope you've been a bit of an insight into me struggling. And obviously, hope this has kind of helped talking over it and just kind of explaining a couple of the shots and the reasoning behind it. Please do subscribe to the channel. We've got loads more content. I've actually got another blo another vlog coming of the, um, of the Open Championship final stages. So... We'll look forward to seeing you again very, very soon. Thanks for watching, guys.